Anna? All right, thank you. Well, an alleged terrorist training camp right here in America, and the government is letting it happen. The FBI has reportedly known about an Islamist enclave in Texas and more uh, around the country as well, but the State Department refusing to classify them as a serious threat. So what's behind all of this, and why is the government not shutting them down? Let's ask Dr. Zudi Jasser, president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy and author of A Battle for the Soul of Islam. Good morning to you, Zudi. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Anna. It's good to be with you. Uh, you know, the knowledge of this is not new. The FBI, there's a report out from them uh, saying that they're the members of MOA uh, involved in at least 10 murders, one disappearance, three fire bombings, one attempted fire bombing, explosive bombings. I mean, it, this report is, is wild. So why does the State Department seem to be so hands off? Well, and it's pretty, it's pretty sad that we have to learn through declassified old documents that just got released from the FBI that, uh, that an organization is being closely monitored because of all of these activities. And the Muslims of America are connected directly, were founded by Mubarak at Jelani, who is a radical imam who said in, he's in Pakistan and has said that basically he wants to purify Islam through violence. And these enclaves have videos that show paramilitary activity, their connection to murders, connection to the 93 bombing of the World Trade Center, connections to even murders of moderate imam in Arizona in the early 90s, and, and so many other activities, and even a terror incident, uh, a conspiracy in Toronto, and yet they were never designated God knows why. I think right now our program is a whack-a-mole program where we basically identify that imam disappeared, so we think the problem went away. Awaki right. was the problem, so we got him. There's just no strategy, and this really shows that we're frozen in time now, 13 years after 9-11. And just to say that there are fringe groups uh, and, and something that's small, I mean, the ideology seems similar to Major Nadal Hassan, to the Boston bombers. I mean, we still need to be worried about these guys. Absolutely. These guys don't come out of thin air. And when they're, what are they doing in these enclaves? They haven't disappeared. Jelani's ideology infuses them and inspires them. They hate the West. They're separatist movements. They attract ex-convicts who are radicalized in prison. And they're continuing to grow. And the communities, especially Muslim communities, need to know about them so that we can, you know, prevent them from entering our communities and also expose them. So America, to be safer, needs to know that these are connected to Jamaat al-Fukra. And, and not to designate them tells us that it's beyond Jamaat al-Fukra, that we really have no strategy when it comes to Pakistan, Afghanistan, and all the foreign influences upon small communities and threats that could be the next Boston bomber, the next Nidal Hassan. Right, and this, the Muslims of America are MOA. What's so mind-boggling about all this is they are allowed to organize until that qualification, that, that specification, is, is, is the label is put on them. So how vulnerable are we because of that? We don't know. You know, it's like Nidal Hassan was talking to Al-Qaeda for, for months, and then we said after Fort Hood, oh my gosh, why wasn't he stopped? And they were worried about political correctness. Well, I think most Muslims I know would want them monitored closely, exposed, and God knows who they're speaking to in Pakistan or elsewhere. They've sent hundreds of thousands of dollars to that area to support organizations that are affiliated with Jamaat al-Fukra and Al-Qaeda and others. So we're monitoring them. That's what the documents show. But they're not designated as a foreign terrorist organization, so therefore they're allowed to continue to operate, which I think is very dangerous. And to see this, that it's been out since, or they've known about this since 2007, unreal. Thank you so much for Absolutely. your time today.